What's up, you guys? What's up, YouTube? What's up, world? What's up, internet? Wherever you're from. Uh, anyways, Brody, you're from Caslo. <laughs> okay, so you saw the video title. Um, I'm here talking about our Patreon account that we're just starting up and all the other cool stuff we got coming up. First, I want to do a quick shout out to our homies over at the official Sad Boy for hooking us up with this merch. Super dope hoodies, super dope community, and we're just super thankful to represent them and what they do. And uh, speaking of merch, got some, got some coming up. Um, got some Caslo merch finally coming up. So watch all our socials for that because that's gonna be dropping really soon. And I can't wait to show you guys all of it. Back to the Patreon. Um, I'm gonna talk about it, kind of show you guys like the rundown of what we're offering and what's coming up. So uh, let's head back over to Desktop Brody and uh, I'll show you guys. What's up? We are back. Desktop Brody here. Uh, totally blanked out, forgot to mention. After this is, after I talk about our Patreon, um, we're gonna do a walkthrough of our track Inconsistent. So that'll be super cool too. But getting to the Patreon. Here's what we got going. We're gonna do three different levels. So starting at only 10 bucks, um, we're gonna give you guys a bunch of stuff. Let's check it out. We're gonna give you access to um, a private Discord chat with me and Nat, so you can talk with us. And that comes with a Discord role too. You can get like a casual crew, be a crew member, you know? Um, on top of that, we're gonna give away our mashups folder. So everything that I make for our live sets, just basically any mashup or edit that I make. It's like a private casual thing, so. Entry tier, you'll get that. Uh, we're gonna do mini sample packs every month. We're gonna do like, you know, I don't know, probably whatever song we're working on that month or whatever song, we'll maybe do polls in the, in the Patreon community and let you guys pick. But yeah, we're gonna do mini sample packs each month. We're gonna do MIDI packs each month, so just some cool piano progressions, piano melodies, stuff that you get to you guys' songs. Um, it's also just gonna give you access to the community as a whole, so you can participate in the polls and chat with us, all that kind of stuff. The VIP tier. So that one, we're gonna go all the same things as the first one. Uh, but yeah, this one we're gonna do project files. We're gonna give you all our logic files. That's gonna be fun. We're gonna give you guys stems. If you wanna remix one of our songs, any Caslo song, depending on the record label, I guess. But most of our Caslo songs will be there. And we're gonna do walkthroughs. So just like this video, we're gonna kinda do a walkthrough of one track a month, one project. We'll let you guys vote on that, see which ones you want, and yeah, we can choose. Finally, we got the all access tier. So this basically is gonna have all the stuff from all the other tiers, but we're gonna do feedback. So personal feedback on your guys' music. Um, yeah, we'll basically work with you, kind of get your song to the level it needs to be at. We're only gonna let 10 people in this one because we don't really got a lot of time. And I think if we have too many, it's just, we won't be able to give you the the one-on-one -on -one feedback that you guys need. So we're gonna limit this to 10 people, but yeah, we're stoked to see what you guys come up with. Um, yeah, I'll probably make one more video about this closer to the time, but hopefully we'll see you guys in the Patreon. And I think this is gonna grow into a really dope community with y'all. Let's hop over to the DAW and we'll check out Inconsistent. What's up you guys? We're in now inside of our project, Inconsistent. So we released this song on Lost in Dreams, which is uh, Insomniac's melodic label. Um, now, I don't wanna sit here for like an hour and go over the entire thing, because this video is already gonna get a bit long, so we're mostly gonna focus on the drops in this, but I will quickly kinda scrub over I guess the uh, the verses and that sort of stuff with the uh, the acoustic section. I guess so, kind of like we'll break down the instrumentation. I guess of the verses and whatnot. <clears throat> so we'll kind of start it off here. Just listen to the intro. We only speak. So let's go over that intro 
I guess, atmosphere, vocal chop. Let's go over the vocal chop. That was pretty cool. Intro vocals. So we got two things going on here. We got this. So basically all that is, is, let's open that up. It's just some formant automation going on with little Alter Boy. So automated the formants down towards the end of that. Gives it that cool little, little vocal effect. We did that for both layers here because we got, we got another layer going on. So we just took those and kind of soaked them in reverb and EQ'd them, took some resonance out, filtered them. So the filter starts low, comes in, intro vocals. That's basically the cool little intro chop we got. All right, let's move down on to, oh, I guess we had a little respace going on under there too. Yeah, a little respace. We have the rest of the acoustics. So we got two piano, three pianos, <laughs> four pianos, <laughs> and uh, an 80s synth and some atmosphere going on. So show you the atmosphere first, but we'll skip ahead so it's not filtering in. So for both atmospheres, we got we got this going on. These are bounced down to audio. I'm not actually too sure where we got these from, but it sounds like we got that panned hard left, that panned hard right. Yeah, I'm really not too sure where those audios came from. I can't remember, but I mean, we got those with some filtering going on. That plays pretty much through the whole verses. So we got that going on. We got this 80s synth. Oh, that's only in the intro and later on in the verses. So we'll skip over here. I come from Omnisphere. I don't want to unpause it because I feel like then my project might just die on us, so we don't want that. <laughs> we'll turn the race base off. Um, it's just like an 80s sounding synth in Omnisphere, some kind of bell type synth. I'm sure you can find a cool preset. We probably did a bit of EQ or something to it, but it doesn't sound too much. The main thing is, is watching in the stereo field where we put all these things. When you got four, you know, five pianos and synths and layers and arps and stuff going on. You gotta watch where you pan stuff. So we pan this out about 20, 20 to the right. And then we got another piano playing the same thing going 20 to the left. So we kind of got this one. Kind of like a lo-fi sounding piano. That's a contact library. It's, I think the typical piano we always use, we just tossed a bit crusher on there and some EQ filtered it out. So you got the both together in each ear. You got this layer going on. Omnisphere patch again. I'm not really sure which patch, but again, and we just kind of wanted like that retro-y kind of vibe. So we just found sort of retro sounding synths that had like that kind of vintagey, almost detuned layer going to them. Hold on, there might be a filter. Let's see. Yeah, so there was a bit of a filter on the highs. Um, and then we got another piano. Just in case we're gonna
And we got another piano. This is the usual piano we use. It's the Noir by Native Instruments. I'm probably butchering that name, but it's the typical piano we use. Um, we pan both these off to one way. We got that going that way, just to kind of, again, make some room for stuff. But add in everything. The atmospheres. You get this nice bed of pianos and synths. space too. You know, this nice full bed of instruments going on. We also got this harp. We'll just mute the vocals for now. But all the instruments. Build up here, we got, let's just redo that here. We got another little synth that comes in. Which is a preview of what's coming in the drop. So, we'll take a look at that now. Checking out the drop. I mean, this song, we kept, we kept, we kept the drums pretty simple in this. In this type of more pop EDM stuff, you don't really want a whole lot going on with the drums. Um, this song was just kind of keeping the rhythm, and uh, we wanted to really let these, like, quick little leads and stuff come through more and the main focus on this is actually the uh vocals the song we got some really cool vocal ad libs going over the whole thing which we'll go over um but yeah start with the drums we got a kick just a thumpy little thumpy little kick we probably got some type of uh distortion we usually put a little bit of distortion on the kicks just to make a pop pop through a little more <clears throat> rest of the drums down here. We got some snares. We got a few snares going on. We got three snares. But this snare from the verse, it's got that like 80s vibe, you know? Another layer. Top layer. And then we got just a reverse snare and a clap. So let's clap. So that clap's kind of more reverbed, more of an atmospheric, sort of a layer. This verse snare was just the top kind of hiss on the snare, and then we got this, which is like the main beef of the snare. So all three we got. Nice kind of blown out sounding 80 snare. Got that reverse snare coming in. Sucks you into every other one. We got the little fill to turn around. but we have this extra clap that comes in on this fill here. It gives you like emphasis on, okay, loop's starting back over again. So kind of helps. Helps it loop back around. Finally, cymbals. We got some rides. We got the rides. I think we have tremolo. Yeah, so these things are panning. One ear, other ear. Let's just turn all these off so we can hear. Yeah, each ear. They're bouncing around there. Hats. Same thing, we got a bit of a tremolo on these hats, just kind of giving them some movement. Um, this is a sample that we just tossed into a sampler. 
kind of like an older lo-fi sounding hat. This is a loop. We either made this one or it might have came from our sample pack, I'm not too sure. Just helping kind of keep that rhythm. And we got a shaker in this one. And we got some vinyl crackle, of course, going on in the background, you know. And we got crash going on. Helps with the drop, we got a white noise. Doing a little, little tremolo action on that too, panning. Keep it kind of interesting. And we got another little longer swoosh. And then lastly, we got some chimes. So these kind of sound like that. Some pretty little bells. EQ going on on those. So yeah, if you get all that stuff. Oh, I forgot the effect. All the stuff. Bumping little drum. We have a riser going in this drop too. Building up, transition out of it. Cool. That's the drums. Pretty simple. On our drum bus, not much going on. We got a pull tech. Doing a bit of EQ. Not a whole lot going on there. We got this True Iron plugin. It's kind of like a saturator that has some type of compression as well. Gives it some glue. We got that. And we just got a gain plugin to automate the volume of the drums overall throughout the track because we bring them up and down at different points and then we just got those going into a parallel compression bus and then from the parallel compression bus we have that going into this clip bus and on the clip bus we have a transient shaper making them smack a little harder and then we have a clipper just clipping the tops of them for those of you that are wondering how to get your drums that extra bit of smack, we definitely use a lot of transient shaping and parallel compression and clipping just to get them to punch extra. A little extra. <clears throat> All right, we're going to go through the drops now, the part that everyone wanted to hear. So, I mean, basically this one, we got a sub. Bass pluck. Now normally we would separate the sub, we would do like a mid bass and then have a sub separate, but it just sounded good like this, so we just left it as is. I'll unfreeze it just so we can kind of see what's going on in these ones. So this came from Anna 2, probably a preset. DX bass, yeah, we wanted that like, you know, vintagey kind of slap bass going on. So we just found a preset, tweaked a few things, did some processing taking a big dip out of the out of the subs because it was a bit heavy more out of the mids there just cleaning up that extra chunk we didn't really need two eq i think literally doing it's mostly the drive honestly we just kind of wanted the saturation that this cq gives so it's Logic's version of a full tech EQ. Uh, we got sidechain, compressing it just a little bit, kind of keep those plucks in check. Uh, we clipped it just to again keep the keep the plucks in check, kind of square off this up. This, this uh, clipper's cool because it's got a bit of a saturator built in, so it's cool to check it out. Um, yeah, now we're, that was literally it for the subs. Um, that goes with kick, obviously. Ah, we'll, we'll add in the drums after. Next thing was this pluck. We got basically a whole bunch of plucks and leads here. A bunch of layers. Starting with this one. So 
some super soft sounding plugs. So this, we're just going to turn this back on the stereo thing because, uh, yeah, I didn't have it on. So now, there we go. That's what it's going to sound like. A little wider. So this is basically just a super saw that comes from Anna 2. We use these super saw, oh, it's a preset we made. Um, we use the same patch in every single track of ours, basically. It's just kind of one of our super saw presets. Really not a lot going on. Um, I might actually give this in the comments for people that have Anna 2. Um, yeah, I think in our Patreon, we'll give, uh, we'll give these presets out if you guys want our super saw presets. For the people that have Anna too, but I can try to explain it real quick. So we got three three oscillators going on. Got this one, which is regular saw wave going on. This one is like a buzz saw, so it's kind of a different variation of a saw wave. And then this is like a triangle wave. So we combine all three of them. How much voices we got? We got six voices on the first one. Four voices on that one, two voices on that one. So you kind of get a full spectrum that way. Um, not much detune going on on this last layer. Not much on that one. And the first layer is the only real detuned layer. So is there a way to turn these other ones off so I can just show you what's going on? There probably is a way, but I'm not going to bother taking the volume all the way down on them. That's pretty much it, to be honest. We probably messed around with the... Uh, ADSR stuff down here too a little bit, but and then in the uh, in the actual effects going on, um, we got chorus just to widen them up a little bit, and that's pretty much it. Without it, that's yeah, that's really all we got going on is chorus, basic stuff, and then we processed it over here. I guess kind of run through everything. Take it off. Sounds like without everything. That was good. EQ. Cutting the lows. Multiband compression. A little bit of compression. Without it. With it. That tames it down. Realistically, not doing a lot. 1 dB maybe. 1 dB maybe. Again, 1 dB. So, not a lot of compression going on. Just kind of putting a little bit of a roof on the sound controller bit. This one. Multipass. So this is by Kilo Hearts. It's a pretty cool plugin actually. You can do all sorts of stuff with it. You can pick which band, like which part of the sound you want to put the effects on. So we got some saturation going on as you can see. Three different uh, versions and we're saturating each part of the sound differently. So we got the top a little more driven. The mids, a little less driven, the lows, the least amount driven, but basically it's just saturation. Sound delay, making it wide. You can do all sorts of ways to make it wide. This is kind of like the Haas effect. We just like this particular uh, delay plugin because, uh, I don't know, sounds good, doesn't phase. We like that one. Sounding better, but still a bit chonky. Here we go, clean it up. Scoop some out of the mid. Push some at the top. Cut all that out of the sides. Another EQ, this will be the one. Taking a lot out of that mid. Pushing the tops a little bit more even. And scooping out some of that, some of that that builds up there in super size. And then finally, you know, just got to throw a little bit of OTT in there. Not doing much though. 11%. Barely anything. But it brightens those bad boys up a little bit. That's typically how we'd process a Super Saw layer. And then we got a lot going on on this drop bus over here, but uh, we can deal with that a bit. So first layer, Super Saw. Second layer. Another Anna too. Let's go over that. I literally think this is a preset we just found. 
called the grid uses the grid. I don't know where we got it. Um, I think it might even come with Anna too. But yeah, preset. Not much. Not much going on on this one. We got um, EQ. Getting rid of those resonant frequencies. Controlling those little notes. Sound delay. Basically make it wide again. It's more mono. It spreads out a bit. Do 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 do. Layers with this real nice. More or less just there for attack. Got an arp. It's an atmosphere patch. We use this quite a bit. It's just like a background patch. Let's see what we got going on. With all this stuff unfreezing, it might my computer might have a jammer at some point, but we'll take a look. Omnisphere. Preset called He Watt. Um, I think we changed a few things in the effects, maybe. I'm not really sure, but I think in the effects we just kind of took off a lot of the effects that was on the preset, and I think we took out something in here too. Uh, I'm not sure what we took out, but I think we took out a few things in this, in the preset somewhere. But this is the preset anyway. I don't remember. It was like before the processing. It's not much different to be honest. Same general thing we did to the saws. Almost the same chain. Low cut, multi-band compression, tiny bit, saturating, sound delay, spreading them out. This thing, it's literally the same chain, to be honest, except for maybe this EQ is a bit different. Scooped out more of the mid stuff there. The leads are going to be around there, so that's kind of why we like to keep this area sort of cleaner. And the vocals. So we scooped out that, and then again over to two. So uh, pretty much the exact same. So you got all three of those layering in. We got this synth. Doing a different pattern, different rhythm. Same one as in the verse. Pretty sure it's the same synth. It's an atmosphere patch, let's see. More of a retro, yeah. I remember the 80s retro sound. Not much needed on this one. Excuse me, EQ. We probably could have done a bit of a resonant control on those peaks, but I don't know, it sounded good, so we left it. We have this pan to the one ear, it's over in your right a bit. So we got that playing, we got this piano doing the same thing. Again, this is the same sounds that we used in the verses. Um, we just used them again in the drop because when you have a vibe already going, oh God, let's just search, it'll find it. My contacts, like, where'd it go? Oh no, hold up. Sorry fam, we're gonna have to look. Find the folder, I have it somewhere on here. Come on, Native Instruments, where you at? Where you at, where you at, where you at, where you at? Nope. Oh, you know what? I think I know. Might be on my other drive. Let's check that one. Let's check the other drive. Let's see if it's on this one. Let's see. Contact. Ah. It's probably on this one. Uh, Native Instruments Noir. Yup. There we go. That's why it didn't load. 
Sorry, guys. We're just gonna. I'll, I'll, I'll edit that. You can just like fast forward it. That took a lot of time. This is also taking a lot of time. Loading. Love, love waiting for it to load. Absolutely love it. We have as many contact libraries as we have. We got to store them on external drives because there's just too many. Oh, hey, look, we're back. Okay, go. <clears throat> anyway, I went through all that effort to show you that it's literally the same piano we always use. I don't really know why I did that, but Noir, we just put a bit crusher on it. That was it. Without it. Compression, bit crush, low five vibe. EQ, filter that. That's it, but we got both those going in each ear. Oops. Just like we did in the verse, where you combine these with the saws and stuff. You can see we're getting there. Now we got the leads, so. This is what all three sound like. Okay, I'll show you how we did that. We got three layers. Oh, here we go again. All right, and we're back again. We're back again. Look who's back again, look who's back again, look who's back again. Okay, well, redoing this. So, this is frozen, but it's gonna do Analog dreams. Analog dreams. Analog dreams. Oh my god. Fucking shit balls. Okay, sorry guys. I got that sorted out. Whoopsies. Uh, anyway, contacts loaded up now. So. This is a library called Analog Dreams. This one's called Snow on Mars, this preset. We probably tweaked a few things here and there, but uh, this is kind of the, uh, the vibe. It's the vibe. First layer. Some EQ. Take down the highs. Take down some of that. Cut out the lows, the usual. And then reverb, because this was it before. Super dry, we didn't want that. With some reverb. There we go. That fits much better. All right. Second one. This one came from Omnisphere. Let's check it out. Roller plucker. I think we were just looking through plucks. Found one that sounded cool. Processed it. Sounded like this. Quite a bit different. Compression. Quite a bit of compression. 7 dBs. Chunking it down, controlling it, because without it, it's kind of all over. This one, doing barely any compression. This is, I don't know really why we even use this. Didn't really need it. <laughs> but it's there. Sound delay. Same old thing. Making it wider. There we go. Now all of a sudden it, that shit's wide. Magic. Reverb. Because reverb. Right? Like the other lead. Because reverb. Sounds like more reverb than it should. Tremolo. Because... Tremolo. It can bounce around even more. Just from that. Turn it on. Bounces it out to the sides. More EQ, because filter. Turn it out. 
Don't do that. It's about layers. You know. Last one of the lead. Twinkly little one to go on top. Atmosphere. It's very retro. We're going for retro sounds on this, as I said. Same thing. Remember the 80s. Same preset as we used before. Just processed a bit different and playing a lot higher notes this time. Filtering it. Taking out that real bad, painful layer L3. And we process them together with, um, do I got, okay, yeah. So without, we got this. With, just help them fit in the mix more. So we got tape. Tape machine here from Slate. It's doing some saturation and compression. It's going quite loud. Really gets that lead in your face and squishes it a bit more. All three of them. This EQ is doing literally nothing. I don't really know why that's here. Do we automate it? Nope, it's just there. <laughs> we do that sometimes. Just put EQs on shit and don't touch it. Anyway, moving on. Neutron 3. So we got this. Doing some side chaining to the vocals that are coming in, actually. We got that. Oh, no, it's for the lead guitar that comes in the second drop. That's what that is. Okay, 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 I got you. Which we can skip over the second drop and show you. Second drop, we got these guitars that come in and some vocals that come in. And so, in order to get the uh, this guitar lead to sit on top of these, you'll see that we processed it like that. And then now, when the guitar plays, it's going to duck the leads. I'll go over that guitar lead in a bit. And lastly, we just got this little scoop of the 500s because guitars and vocals are sitting there. So when you get all the leads in here and you get all the pianos in here and you get the plucks in here, and you get this. Add in that pluck bass. And then you add that guitar on top. So, we're going to go back to the first drop, though, just to kind of show you that the main, I guess, hook of this isn't really the synths in the drop. We more or less wanted those to just be, where are we at? Drop step, drop step, drop step, drop step. Let's drop two. We need drop one. Here. Or am I missing something? I'm lost. Here. Drop stuff. 
So if I un, or if I play this, the main kind of hook of this drop was the ad libs that we got going on over top of the drop, which is my favorite part of the song, definitely. Um, we got those going on over here, I think. Yeah, over here. Yeah, so we'll solo the vocals and show you what we've got going on. So now, when you got everything going on. You have the slower rhythm with the vocals and the quicker rhythm with the synths on be down below. And I think the two of those playing together really just create this cool kind of counter melody rhythm off each other. So the vocal harmonies. Okay, vocals we usually mix in another project and we probably did most of it in another project, but we bounced them out, put them in here so we can kind of hear what's going on. So the backing vocals, we got these. I'm constantly thinking about you. I'm constantly we'll go over all the layers. We got one. I'm constantly thinking about you. I'm yeah, we process these in another project. It's just got melodyne and That one's straight down the middle. We got one pan hard left, one pan hard right. These are going to be different takes, by the way. I'm constantly thinking that one we left dry. I'm constantly thinking about this one we also left dry. I'm constantly thinking about this when you get the reverb one in the middle. You don't want to overdo it with the reverb. Low one. We just pitched it down with the little altar boy. Down an octave. EQ'd it. Cut the lows out that it added. Kind of gives another layer in there. Now we got a low on the left. Another dry one. And a low on the right. I don't think we used these last two. Didn't use them. So yeah, you got three vote three lows. And the three highs. So, there's a lot going on with this vocal buses and stuff, but I mean, in the middle of it, we just got... So we just got that outside of this group because when this comes in, it side chains to these and ducks them. Processing all these vocals together, that's a thing. Without all the processing. I'm constantly thinking about you. I'm constantly thinking. 
quite a bit going on. So let's walk you through. EQ. Controlling all the stuff going on. Using it like a DSer. Getting rid of that hissy off the top, DSing it. Taking out resonance. Taking out some chonk. Side EQ. Getting that out of the side. Getting all that out of the side. Cutting rid of it. So, we duct these in the sides because we got a lot of other high end information going on with uh, in the synths. So, if we duct the vocals in the side, it kind of lets the synths live there. A little bit more EQ. Some of these are just after annoying areas we heard. This is a compressor, kinda. I guess you could call it a compressor. It's a compressor saturation kind of dynamics controller is what it is. Add some nice compression. And then we got more compression. Multiband compression this time. Not doing much. Catches it a bit there. It's just to smooth out that ending. And last but not least, we got Soothe. The bad boy taking out all that final resonance. What would we do without Soothe? What a, what a beautiful plugin. So that's kind of what we got going on for those vocals. And then those vocals all go into this vocal bus, which has quite a bit more processing on it. Uh, without this, we got... Yeah, we're kind of quiet. We got this tube EQ. We boosted a bit around 3400k. A little bit of a boost there. And then just some saturation. Not much else. Just some final notes we didn't like. Some resonance. More soothe, because uh, gotta have the soothe on the vocals. Sidechain! To sidechain the vocals to the kick at certain points, just a little bit, and sidechaining it to the snare, especially on the drop. You want those drops to come through, so if I unsolo, oh, that was it. Never mind, we're gonna keep so long. Sidechain, and then here's where we brought the gain back. Turn them up 18 dB, because, uh, yeah. Those vocals were quiet, so we go from quiet, now And a limiter, just to squish them, catch those peaks. Just catches those peaks every now and then, controls them. And then when you got all of it playing together, It's not side chaining. Not at that part. Maybe it's side chaining over here in the verse. I'm not sure. Side chaining. There was a reason we did that.
the ah, that's why we did it here at the end when the ad lib vocals come in. That's kind of the gist of uh, how we went about making Inconsistent, to be honest. So, um, yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed that and maybe you learned a thing or two. I didn't want this video to drag on and on and on. It's already going to be a pretty long video. But, uh, yeah, we'll do more in-depth, probably full song walkthroughs over on our Patreon. So, hope to see you guys in there. And until next time, have a good one, guys. Peace out.